Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Draw With Me Kids. It's episode 112. Awards, trophies, and prizes. Woo! We've got trivia today, and we're going to show you how to draw ribbons, trophies, and, well, other ways you can get awards. So grab your pens, pencils, erasers, and papers. And let's go. Woo! Trophy is made up of two parts. The base, which Miss Rainbows is starting with. I'm using my my good on one side paper. It's not the base so that I'm yeah, I know. Oh well okay. You're doing you're doing something that's holding it's it up. It's a pedestal. The pedestal? You can draw a pedestal too. Maybe that's something that would be fun to do. But what you start off with is a base for your trophy, which is just a rectangle. Maybe you want to do like Miss Rainbows is doing and give it something to sit on, like a pedestal, which is also a rectangle. So I'm doing it small over here. Maybe that's not such a good thing here. Because I see my pictures are showing up. Anyway, so for a trophy, you have a cup on the top. And you can make this cup any size or shape you want. But usually you'll see a cup that is a little bit like half an oval and tall. So a tall half oval. And you can do a straight line across, you can do a slightly curved line if you're going for three dimensional. I do a very thin oval on the top for three dimensional. I don't know, can you hear me? Seems to be the uh, seems to be that our, <laughs> our voice thing has decided it's not going to So you can then, you can be elaborate with your cup. You can make a circle or a half circle underneath and then a straight line. Or you can just do as Miss Rainbow did, a beautiful straight line. Gorgeous. And then at the bottom, I'm doing this all in ink. So it's, you can do a half circle or another rectangle to give it the foot of the cup. And trophies always have to half a heart on one side, the other half of a heart on the other side. And then you can just sort of make parallel lines. So the same thing on the inside of those hearts, another half heart, another half heart to leave a little skinny handle. And you can put whatever you want on that. Maybe it says best, maybe it says number one, Maybe it says nothing. Maybe it's just, a, maybe you have a little like um, teardrop flower design. I don't know, that's what I'm putting on mine. It looks like bubbles. Maybe it's the best bubble blower of mine. I don't know. And you can do, this is the basic basic, but you could get really crazy. You could do some little whirls and swishes on your, your handles. If you've seen the Stanley Cup, there it's pretty elaborate. You can do more elaborate things on the on the, the pedestal. You can make this as fancy a cup as you want, or as simple a cup as you want. I'm just going to color my cup in a bit here. So there is a trophy cup. And you can get really crazy with how you design it. Maybe your cup is like this big on the top of something and your handles are these teeny little handles. Maybe your cup is very tall and you can do very tall and skinny so it's like a champagne flute. I don't know. It's got really tall handles. You can do them like that. And then you just sort of have your base. 
However you make your cup or your trophy is completely up to you as to how you want to represent it. I think that's a pretty good spot right now to start with our first trivia question. Cups and trophies, because we're going to do cups and trophies. We just did them. We're going to do some other awards. Let's talk about ancient Greece. In ancient Greece, they used to award uh, trophies or prizes to their champions in the Olympics or for war and whatnot. What was it that Greek society awarded their top champions? What did Greek society award their top champions? They give them gold stars, so little gold plated stars. Did they give them laurel wreaths? Did they give them pomegranate seeds? So what were the awards or trophies given to the champions in Greek society? A, gold stars, B, laurel wreaths, or C, pomegranate seeds. And in the meantime, oh, interesting. Hmm, you wonder who that is. That's an interesting one. So there's our trophy. And while you're answering the trivia question, or thinking about it for the next two minutes, we'll go on to the next thing, which you can, maybe many of you have done, well, I know some of you might have done things like farming projects, or you have done um, special presentations at your school, or maybe you have entered a contest for writing and you get ribbons. You get ribbons that are just a rectangle. So I'm going to do two parallel lines before I do the rectangle. If you want to start with a rectangle and you can erase it, go ahead and draw that rectangle. Actually, I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? I'm going to incorporate it. So it's just like a bookmark. So a ribbon can have... Don't worry, I'm going to do a ribbon too. No problem. And you can put whatever prize. So you can say maybe this is uh, draw with me kids. And it's the number first place drawing. Everybody gets the first place award at draw with me kids, don't they? Yeah. If you're here trying it out and you're having fun and learning something, even if it's learning just the trivia or it's inspiring you, you are a winner. You are number one in our books. Right, Miss Rainbows? Absolutely. Maybe you remember getting ribbons that are much fancier. I have one of those little ribbons there down on the fridge from my track and field. You do, do you? Was it a participation ribbon? Because you did amazing for, for track and field. I'm so proud you went. I have some ribbons too from when I was in swimming in track and field. I am looking at one right now, which is a third place ribbon that um, Sophia's Auntie Nora great aunt Nora one for uh, making a china doll oh and our two minutes is up are you ready for the answer for the trivia before I finish the ribbon Miss Rainbows is already doing a really good example of a ribbon the answer to the trivia question in Greek society what was awarded to champions a gold stars B laurel wreaths wreaths or C pomegranate seeds and the answer is Miss Rainbows, I know you know, so maybe you can help our friends. A wreath. And it was a laurel wreath. So laurel wreaths or olive branches tied into wreaths that you could wear as a hat or a head piece or carry home. So laurel or olive branches. I think laurel was more of a Roman thing, but my sources put it as laurel wreaths. My so. But I think it's all of branches is more of a Greek thing. <laughs> um, yeah. 
our second trivia question, based off of this guy, this design right here that has beautiful handles, that trophy design is based off of a wedding cup or a love cup. And in those traditions, you would the guests would pass around the drink in the one cup with two big handles and share love by sipping the same drink. We decided to adopt that for trophies because we want the team that wins to pass around the cup and share what? Love and friendship, just like the original tradition. The favor of the gods. Or victory. What is it that the teams, I guess not just the team itself, but future teams are going to win the prize. What are they passing along when they share the trophy, when they pass the trophy? Is it A, love and friendship, B, the favor of the gods, or C, victory? So in a ribbon, you don't want to start with a circle. Ms. Ms. Rainbow started with a great circle. And then you want to draw two hanging rectangles, just as Miss Rainbow's has done on her picture. You can put them perfectly at an angle like that, maybe make them more like trapezoids. You can put them straight. And you can even give them a little cut like that, a little triangle there if you want to, to fancy them up. It's up to you. That's what I usually do, but I couldn't figure out how to Oh, how to do it with pixels? Well, that's with okay. Pixel it looks great just the way it is. And you can get fancy. You can draw lines up there like Miss Rainbows is doing. And what you would put right here is either change the color. Well, this is going to be good for the last question. We'll get there. Change the color. For this to indicate first, second, or third, or you can write first, second, or third. I'm going to put this as a third place. This one looks like a nice third place ribbon. I have many third place ribbons. <laughs> I have a few first and seconds, but I usually came in second or third. And then you can make it fancy. You can make it floral, like little tiny half circle bumps if you want. You can make triangles around the edge. Just whatever you want to make this fancy, if you'd like, or regal. Regal meaning like royalty. Or fancy, or maybe it's a prize for um, walking your dog. Maybe somebody walked your dog and looked after your pets while you were away. Maybe it's a prize for somebody that made you happy. So you can make it look like a happy face or a sunshine. Whatever you want to do. You don't have to give it, um, oh, I like your alternating colors. It's beautiful, Miss Rainbows. It's a great idea. And the bigger the prize, generally speaking, or the bigger the place, the bigger the ribbon or the fancier the ribbon. I just like to give awards and trophies and prizes. I don't necessarily like to give you first or second or third or rank things like that. I just like to give prizes to people to make them have a good day, make them feel good. So that's like one, two different ways you can do ribbons. Oh, there's my two minute timer. The question was trophies, so like this kind of design with the handles are based off of wedding cups or love cup traditions. So in, in France, they used to pass on a cup at the ceremony and they would take a sip from the cup and then pass it on to the next person at the table to share love. It's also something that they brought in, introduced into the Methodist church and share water at uh, big ceremonies. We've adopted it for the trophy um, in the 18th century. The question being, what is shared when a team wins a trophy cup? What do you share when a team wins a trophy cup? Do you share love and friendship? Do you share symbolically the favor of the gods or do you share victory? You want to give everybody the answer, Miss Rainbows? Miss Rainbows knows the answer to these two. <laughs> so she can share the answer. What's the answer for this one? You can answer that. 
answer. I answered the last one. All right. The answer for this one is they share victory with any other person or any other team that's going to win the cup. They share victory. You don't have to drink from it. You don't have to do uh, anything like that. But that's sort of the idea is when you get the cup with two things, symbolically, you're sharing victory with your teammates. You're sharing victory with the teams that had it before. That is the answer to that trivia. Number three. We're going to get all the trivia off here. Ready for it? Number three. Gold medals weren't always used for first place. Did you know that? In fact, they were silver when we were giving out medals for the first place medal. What year did we start using gold as a medal for the top prize over silver? What year did we start using gold instead of silver as the top prize? Was that in 1904? Was that in 1936? Or was that 1972? All very old time, olden times. Doesn't it feel that way in 2022? So was that 1904? 1936 or 1972. What year did we start using gold as the top prize over silver? So speaking of gold medals, you can do the ribbon similar. You could start with a circle. Maybe you have a really fancy metal design. Most of them start with the, the circle and again all of this pattern around here that you see and this fringe and what I'm about to put on the metal, so sometimes you'll see like a leaf pattern. This is all to represent those olive branches and those laurels we talked about from the first trivia question is what did you get, what did champions, especially at the Greek Olympics, what did they get as prizes? Was it laurel wreaths or olive branches? So all of these little fancy crinoline or edges of a metal. So maybe the metal is like actually doubly round, but you just have this leaf pattern drawn in. Those are all to represent the very first prizes given at, a, at an Olympics. Kind of cool, right? That's not the trivia question though. It's just a drawing question. So you can do two circles if you want. You can just leave it so they're not enclosed. You can draw a picture of maybe it's an event that you're winning this medal for. Maybe it's an art event because this is draw with me, but maybe you're a really good soccer player. So you want to draw a soccer ball. Maybe you want to put a little teddy bear first, the, the stuffy protector that Miss Rainbows is drawing, a little paintbrush. And then you draw a little half circle for the loop this is going to connect it to and a line there. Because when you're making a metal and you want it to face forward, it's always important to have a chain link like that. And then you put your ribbon, just like so. It can be two lines. So you make a triangle so that the ribbon gets a little bit bigger as it makes it look like right here there's a lot of weight. This is what it would look like if it were on somebody's neck. hanging down or hanging off of something. If you're hanging it off something, you might see something more like this. I'll just do a single circle and a clasp. You might see something more like this. If it's just hanging down, everything would be really bunched up together. Still have a little gap, but that's sort of what that would look like. Metal. Maybe you're going to put the placement on it. So maybe this is third place. So this is a bronze medal. And maybe it has a little design. Maybe it's got a picture of what you're awarding your friend with or awarding yourself with or your mom or your dad or your guardians, whoever you're going to do these for. Well, I like rewarding myself once in a while. <laughs> I'm obsessed with third place today, I think. <laughs> I 
think our two minute timer is just going off again. Are you ready for the answer? This one, Ms. Randalls, you can guess because you don't know the answer, do you? Gold medals weren't always used for first place. Silver was at one point in time. What year did we start using gold as the top prize over silver? Was that 1904, 1936, or 1972? What do you think, Ms. Randalls? Do you think it was super long ago? Do you think it was closer to our time? When do you think? Mm -hmm. You can take a guess. I'll give you a hint. Olympics happen every four years. So it has to be a number. I guess it doesn't have to be a number that's a multiple of four. <laughs> but it probably is. I just want to draw. She just wants to draw. The answer, my friends, is 1904. The answer is 1904. It was decided that gold uh, was chosen because it has, uh, it doesn't rust. It doesn't interact with other elements in quite the same way. It's a very stable element, stable metal, and very malleable, and very easy to identify whether it is fake or not. So they decided to introduce that. And really cool science fact, copper, which is the primary ingredient in a bronze metal, silver, and gold all appear in the same column on the periodic table because they're all metals that have similar properties. Copper being on the top, silver in the middle, and gold on the bottom, and they're ordered by rarity. So copper is most common, gold is least common, and they appear one above the other. This is super cool. I love your stuffy protector card. Someone's going to get a very fun card. So, I'm going to do one more thing that you might want to draw for your awards. Miss Rainbow's mentioned podiums. And in this case, you just want to draw a bunch of rectangles. The second place podium is always slightly above the third place podium. And that would be how your people or your stuffies or your friends, if you're pre pretending or playing, or maybe you're even participating in an event would stand. So maybe you have your one person who's here. Yay. You got very little legs, that's fine. This person's one. Maybe they're standing with really excited with their arms out like that. And then this person is also excited. And that would be. So that's something you can add to an award picture. It's a podium. It's a podium. <laughs> I like it. What do you think? Ms. Rainbows, are you almost done? What are you drawing here? You can also have as an award, maybe you get them at school. I used to get stickers at school. You can get a gold star as an award. I know as rainbows here collects, um, well, she used to, and we're going to get back to those again, collects stars for doing her chores around the house. She can cash them in for stuff. Right? Hmm. And you can do things like we now have trophies that have people doing the activity on top of them. So maybe you'll see, like you might have a trophy that looks a little bit like, stylized a little bit like this. 
which is to represent, as weird as that sounds, this is to represent the podium. And then you might have a little person who is shooting a hoop basketball. This is a weird picture. I'm so sorry. They're, they're reaching up. Woo! Shooting hoops. And then it says like first or something here. And then a little plaque here that tells you what you want it for. I have one that is a little person curling who's shooting a rocket at the hack. It's like sliding out on the ice with a rock and a broom in their hand. Um, maybe if it is Miss Rainbow's case, maybe you could draw a picture with a golden teddy bear on it to represent the best stuffy protector. Um, sometimes you see soccer balls. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that the captions work and are good. <laughs> Yay! Sometimes they, they make weird things. Like, I think I said, you know, all the weird little things you like to do, and it came out weird weirdos. So that's fine. <laughs> I'm glad they work. Yay, captions. Also, I am having trouble seeing chat, which is a bit of a pain. If there was a competition for making trophies, would you have a trophy of a trophy on the trophy? Wow, that would get a little bit fourth wall breaking. There's 16 walls. That's a little one I think most adults will get. <laughs> this rainbow you probably would get, only because you hear Daddy and I quote that a lot. What is this one? Wow! Is this a metal? This is cool. So these are different ideas. You can make them as elaborate or silly or whatever you want. Or really serious. Oh, that's beautiful. Someone is gonna get a lot of trophy love. Look at this. Wow. Miss Rainbows is the pixel artist, artiste of the day. Well, you're always the pixel artist of the day. I don't do pixel art over there during our shows, do I? Hmm? Mm. I do like doing pixel art. I just haven't had much occasion to do so lately, but that's beautiful. I know the person you're giving this to, and I know they are going to be overwhelmed. I'm going to be so excited to see this. Wow. I'm going to put my trivia book over there. That's making a big shadow on my screen. That's okay. Are you all done your pictures? Let's take a look. Let's close in. Okay, you got it? You got it. Let's close in and see what everybody's looks like. Hi. Beautiful. I love it. You got a ribbon, a trophy, uh, medals, podium. You got it all. It's like mine's got all of them too. We don't have to show mine though. Mine is just demonstrating what we can do. You didn't <laughs> you don't have to show mine, but that's cool. Just to give everybody the ideas again. All right. Thanks for watching Draw With Me Kids, episode 112. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and share the video with all your friends. That way, nobody misses Child Me Kids Edition ever again. Yay! Woo! We're so glad you joined us, and here's a little reward for you. I hope you drew something for yourself that was nice or for others. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!